Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be transplanting some things into containers. Um, and I thought that it would be fun to do like a plant with me vlog type video. I went to Walmart this morning and found some amazing uh, clearance finds. I got some cantaloupe, a watermelon seedling, um, oh, and some sweet pepper seedlings. And so what I'm going to do is transplant those into containers so that they can begin to grow and flourish. I don't know if it's like too late in the season for the cantaloupe and the watermelon to like flourish, but I only paid a dollar for these seedlings, y'all. So if all this fails and they don't flourish, it's okay. Like I don't feel bad about spending a dollar on them. So yeah, I'm going to transplant those into containers. Going to put out these, um, let me show you these flowers right here. I'm going to put these out into the front yard on this, um, hummingbird hook that I found on clearance for two dollars and fifty cents i got these flowers right here for three dollars which were marked down from twelve dollars and eighty eight cents so yeah i got some really good deals um i'm excited to like transplant this stuff and hopefully fingers crossed it will begin to flourish and then i can give you guys garden updates so let's go ahead and step outside and hang up these uh flowers i did go ahead and already put down the hummingbird um hook or whatever that I plan to hang them on I'm really hoping where are my shoes oh there they are um I'm really hoping that like the hook is sturdy enough to hold these flowers because they are actually really heavy so let's go outside Okay, so this is the hook that I just purchased from Walmart for $2.50 from $10. So let's see if it is sturdy enough. And it is. Yay! They look so cute. I guess I should take this uh, <laughs> clearance sticker off. Ain't nobody gotta know your girl got it for $3. I was gonna say a dollar. I got it for $3. Yeah, I need to put y'all down so I can take this sticker off. They look so gorgeous. So yeah, I went ahead and took the sticker off. Can somebody tell me how to pronounce this? Pachoa? Am I pronouncing that right? Just let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> I'm ex Google. These are actually some strawberries that I planted. And as you can see are just now starting to come up um i don't think they're really gonna do anything i have another one in another pot in the back um but yeah so these are my sunflowers that i planted in the front and like they are thriving they look so beautiful so i'm excited for these this one is actually getting ready to open up soon Okay, now to get these babies planted into containers. And look at this, y'all. I got this for a dollar and it already has a baby on it. So I'm excited. I did plant peppers in my garden. However, they are not flourishing. Like they're not dead, but they are not, um, they're not producing fruit. So I'm excited to see. And like, if you look really closely, this one, Hold on. Oh, this one is starting to like put out too. So that's exciting. I also got cantaloupe. This was a dollar and it looks very healthy. And then I got this watermelon. I got this watermelon one and this was a dollar as well. I only got it because it's a seedling. I didn't plant any fruit in my garden, y'all. So We'll see if it flourishes. Fingers crossed that it does, but we shall see. All right, so I have all of my gardening stuff right here. I just took a picture for Instagram. Um, and so I'm gonna be using the miracle Grow raised bed soil. And then this I'm going to be taking up out of the earth and actually just throwing them away. These are my spinach plants that did not survive um, when the cold snap came through that we were not expecting. 
it basically like damaged them and they just like kind of never shook back so I'm just gonna take these out and actually reuse this soil I'm gonna start around up in there there's another one I'm gonna take this out and so we're gonna plant into these as well Okay, so I got everything planted. My camera is actually about to die, so I'm gonna have to let it charge and then show you guys the garden later. But I got the cantaloupe planted in this huge container right here. I got the peppers planted, both of them. And then I just put the watermelon in this smaller container because I don't know if it's going to flourish. Um, if it does begin to take off, then of course I will transplant it into a bigger container to give it room to really grow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to charge my camera and then I'll come back and show you the garden. So I just realized that the other day when I um, was vlogging, I didn't come back and show you guys the garden update. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. My camera died the other day and I had to finish everything off. But on that day, I harvested three cucumbers and a zucchini. I'll put a picture somewhere up here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you the progress now and then close out this video. Oh, and right here is actually some uh, ginger and sweet potatoes that I actually just planted um, because my sweet potatoes and ginger had sprouted in the cabinet. So I figured I'd just go ahead and try to plant it and see if it does anything. If not, I mean, there's no loss. I mean, because otherwise I would throw it in the trash anyway. So these four are ginger pieces and these four are sweet potato pieces. So fingers crossed they will start to grow if they do then you guys will see that on another video and so starting over here these are cucumbers y'all so i'm gonna actually do a video on <laughs> things to not do or tips when starting a garden um just things that i wish i had done differently um but you can see this is a cucumber here like the cucumbers are going crazy there's some down here uh, there's another one right here like all of these are like I could probably harvest them right now uh, there was another one oh there a oh, dang I didn't even see these so there I saw this one the other day it was hiding but there's one like far down there if y'all can see hold up this is hard to do with one hand Ugh. 
okay so there is another one like the cucumbers are like seriously like in full bloom and ready for harvest this right here is carrots so yeah like this is what i'm saying like things that i wouldn't have done um everything is just kind of cluttered so i would do that differently this is okra um it has not began to like put out anything um so we'll see what it does i do see a few flowers up there but look at my gorgeous sunflowers you guys this one is like up to the house uh this one right here super tall tomatoes are like y'all look at the tomatoes in here it's so many tomatoes baby tomatoes right here i got a big tomato down here like yeah so tomatoes are in full produce as well like there's another one um if y'all country people then y'all probably know about like fried green tomatoes so um i might actually i don't really eat tomatoes but i can eat them fried like hard fried um so i may take one of these babies off one of these days and make some fried green tomatoes um you see several of them coming in right here this is my cabbage it's doing pretty well you can see like some browning but like the head on it y'all looks so good babe shut up these are turnip greens they are looking good um and actually i was not going to like i was gonna pull these up because before my mom left to go back home like they were like barely nothing and they have been playing it for a while so you can see that they have a lot of progress um kale r.i.p it <laughs> got ate by the caterpillars so i went ahead and dusted it with some seven dust um one of my followers told me because i like literally y'all it was covered like infested and so i wanted to throw like the whole plant away but one of my followers said don't do it just to leave it be kill off the caterpillar eggs and stuff and that it will probably begin to like produce new so fingers crossed for that because i i was able to harvest from it though so i don't feel too bad but i mean that's one of the things that i really wanted to thrive because i do eat a lot of kale marigolds right here looking good these are the seedlings that were that i showed you guys earlier um in the video that i got for a dollar at walmart this is the cantaloupe so i went ahead and put a cage on it because i'm pretty sure it's gonna vine up uh this is the one of the sweet peppers it's really bright hold on let me see if i can adjust okay that's better so you can see it has begun to flower this was not on there um the other day when i planted it so yeah i'm excited for this i think it might do well there's another one right here this is the watermelon and again all of these were a dollar another sweet pepper and you can see the baby on it is still hanging on so i'm really excited for this um and it's actually two different like plants in there this is some sweet pepper that i had planted a while ago and this is the one that i was saying that i had planted and it wasn't really doing anything like it's still healthy but it's just i'm not seeing like any flowering or anything on it so i don't know what's going on with that this is i think a tomato plant that got mistakenly put with the pepper plant more marigold back here a whole nother tomato plant right here with lots of babies on it <laughs> this is zucchini so this whole box right here is just really sad looking i think i'm gonna go ahead and start digging this up um i think the beans are gonna put out one more time for us to harvest you can see there's one right there it's really long actually um so i think they'll put out like one more good harvest and then i'll be done with those this is zucchini um it has like one more on here and remember i told y'all i harvested one the other day so this should be ready to pull soon um but other than that i don't think it's really gonna do too much more in this box so i think that once i harvest this zucchini 
and maybe a few more beans from this that I'm gonna go ahead and like just pull it up and get it prepped and ready for my um, for my fall garden so corn is back here it's not really like I got excited because it started to tassel right here but it's not really doing anything I really just planted the corn just for fun um, not really to harvest from it it would have been a win if I could have harvested but unfortunately that didn't happen this is a spaghetti squash now I did harvest one from here but this one that's growing right now is actually not healthy like it's soft it feels almost like I don't know it kind of almost feels like it's gonna be well I don't know we'll see we'll see maybe I'll just leave it be and see what it does but other than that like that's it y'all like this whole box will be pulled up and beginning to get ready to uh, prep it for my fall garden but other than that yeah this is what the garden looks like this whole side looks super super healthy so I'm very excited for that so yeah anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you plan out a garden let me know down below what you guys uh, planted in your garden what all have you harvested so far from your garden and what are you planning to plant in your fall garden if you are planting one um, again I hope that you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel you can follow me on my Instagram at melanin plant mama where I share all of my garden and plants um updates and yeah i will talk to you guys in the next video bye